This class is Creative Embedded Systems and the students are working on their kinetic sculpture project. Their assignment is to build and design from scratch a creative sculpture that is going to be connected to motors as well as the internet so we can trigger all of these sculptures remotely at the same time. My kinetic sculpture became about industrialization taking over the natural environment. This class is clearly both arts and science and I think it's you know using science as a tool for arts in the coolest way. I wanted to take a fun computer science class and so far I've had a blast. I really enjoy folding origami and I thought it'd be really nice to make something based off of that. It's made out of a cereal box, post-its, letter paper, and a chopstick. My kinetic sculpture was basically a carousel. Cranes are supposed to kind of symbolize hope, which I thought was kind of appropriate right now. Students are asked to program. They're also asked to work with hardware and they're also asked to work from a creative perspective and design something that weaves a whole story around what they're building. We were making these claws that required a lot of precision and so we went to the design center and we printed out uh, a lot of the little pieces and we also needed to create holes in a lot of the pieces so that we could um, create joints and we used the drill press and the Dremel drill to like shape a lot of them. I think it was a really amazing experience learning how to use a lot of these tools. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> After the students finish their kinetic sculpture, they're asked to write up a blog post describing their experience and what they've built. They're getting a bigger picture of how do I communicate my accomplishments to a broad audience. The final part of this project, when you build a kinetic sculpture, you actually need to install it in the physical place and get it to work. We brought some students who are local in to set up their sculpture, and we had the other students set up their sculpture in their house or whatever space they're working in. The sculpture I make is an automatic cat toy. And I attach my cat's favorite toy to a motor and it will just sweep and attract my cat's attention. It was a success. My cat loved it and just destroyed it. Installation is definitely a challenge. The entire thing spins and figuring out how to do that was really difficult. It was really fun to see everyone else's projects. Three, two, one. That moment when we pressed the button and all of the sculptures started at the same time, that was the moment that students suddenly felt like, this is really a shared experience. This is really a community I'm working in. It was like a rush. It was so exciting. I was terrified that it wasn't going to work and watching it almost feels like magic, getting everything to suddenly like come together and like click into place. And I think that that's, it was so satisfying. I think that's one of the big things about not just this project, but the whole class, that students come away from this class with the confidence to work on any sort of project they want. They've worked on hardware, they've worked on software, they've worked with these microcontrollers and all these crazy pieces that they've never seen before. And by the end of the semester, students are just throwing lots of ideas out there. They're coming up with these wonderful projects. And now if they're faced with some other problem, they're gonna have the confidence to say, I can do this.